I'm going to take a, uh, a long position here on the euro dollar in just a moment. You see the one minute, see how they clipped up? So I'm going to wait for this price to get back down into this area, kind of demonstrate how we quickly uh, you know, protect that position with a disaster stop and then immediately tighten the, uh, the stops up. Again, I don't want to take a trade here because if you notice, I'm right now in between my five minutes and my uh, one minute. So I know that there's a good chance I'll get this price back down at least to my one minute. So ideally, I'd like to see it below it. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to get in here at 90. Uh, I just got in at 91. But you'll see how fast the prices get filled. Again, that's part of having an institutional account. Uh, there is no hesitation. You know, immediately you click, you're in. So the only thing you've got to get used to is uh, when you do click that you do get really fast fills. Anyways, the other thing I want to do quickly when I get in this trade is, like I said, hit my, uh, my protect button because my protect button is already set to my uh, disaster stop, which is 20 points. And as soon as that happens, we want to go ahead and place the order. And immediately it's set up to a, a 20 point stop. And uh, as soon as we do that, we go back in there and now we tighten our stop. I changed it now to a seven point stop. And as we work our way up here to this level where I believe we're heading to, I will come in and, and set a break even uh, stop. Because again, I don't want to risk losing now. But I'm not ready to do that yet because again, we're, we're still too close to our one minutes. And if you notice, our one minutes are expanding. They're creating expansion, so that's a good sign. But if this now continues, I would expect this to get back up here to this 99, possibly 07 level where I'll start to collect points from that trade. When you get fairly decent at recognizing these, you're able to do this several times a day. And like I said, just collect some points. And it's amazing when you collect pennies, how these pennies can add up. Sometimes you don't see at the end of the day, they've add up to a whole lot. But when you look at the end of the week or the end of the month, it's amazing how, how those pennies do start adding up quite a bit. As I've said, as you get better at this, you might start looking for being able to work yourself up closer to that 20 point per session. But it's an average. Don't take this as something that you're going to be able to do every day. What you're looking at is, you know, there's day, there are days you don't get anything. There are days you might actually make 30, 40 points. So on an average is what you're trying to, to kind of get to where you're able to get those 15 points a session. Here's the euro dollar finally coming back. It's hitting the five minute, and now I have a decision to make. You know, do I take these few points that I have or do I go ahead and uh, set a stop at break even? Because now the market has to make up its mind. Is, is this going to be enough? You've also got a big figure. So we've got a, a five minute that has kind of recalculated down to big figure, uh, which means uh, this might be as far as the market is willing to carry this euro. If I set a break even right now, there's a good chance I'll get stopped out. This is where normally I would say, let me close the position. Let me take a few points out of that trade. And this is what, really what we're trying to get everyone to recognize. Take the points. Now, does this mean that this thing may get up higher here and I got out of this thing and maybe I could have made 20 or 30? Yeah, of course. But we go back to the philosophy of, again, we're always wrong anyways. So I'd rather be wrong and continue to see points added to the account than try to be right only for, you know, for it to feed my ego, but the account is going nowhere. In fact, it's going back the opposite direction. 